connective, either or. Hello, it's grammar time again. Today we're talking about using either or to show choices or express alternatives. Do you remember the use of the connective or? We can use or to list two or more choices, and in this unit, we use either or to show only two choices. Unlike the grammar item we learned in grammar one, would rather than, the two choices here presented. In either or are equally desirable. There are many occasions where we would use either or. For example, choosing a country to go for a family trip, or choosing which summer class to take in the summer holiday. Look at the grammar table. I can either play card games or gaze at the stars. I can either go windsurfing or canoeing. Please take note that the speaker can do one of the two activities. Both are equally desirable. We use either or to show choices. Or express alternatives. When we use either or, it means we can do one of the two activities. Like would rather than, we do not need to repeat the verb after or when both verbs are the same. Now let's look at the grammar task. The children have done many activities on the first three days of the camp. They are now picking the ones they can choose on the fourth day. Look at the pictures and help them complete the sentences. Let's go through the pictures together and make sure we understand the activities. For question one. The picture at the top shows go cycling. How about the one at the bottom? Go sailing. Then for question number two, the picture at the top shows go orienteering, and this picture shows do wall climbing. Number three. This is do archery, yes, and this one, go fishing. Question four. This picture shows go windsurfing, and this one here, gaze at the stars. Now you can write the sentences with either or. Using the ideas in the thought bubbles. All right, that's all for this video. See you later. Goodbye.